This video is a selection of the new and updated features from the May 2025 release. The full list of features can be found on the May 2025 release notes, which you can find on Brightspace Community. This month, we're excited to highlight the following features. In Groups, instructors can now easily export group enrollment data. In Assignments, a new option allows instructors to retract feedback in bulk from the submissions page. In Quick Eval, instructors can seamlessly evaluate submissions across assignments, discussions, and quizzes, moving from one to the next without returning to the main submissions view. In My CPD Records, learners can now add records directly from the main page using the new Add Record button. In Notifications, email messages now include an unsubscribe link, giving users an easy way to manage preferences without logging in. And finally, a summary of changes for the other key features. Let's take a closer look at this month's features. In Groups, instructors can now download a file containing group details, user enrollments, and user information. This functionality simplifies attendance tracking, group-specific class list creation, and contact list management. To export group enrollment data, go to the Manage Groups page and click Export. Select a group category and group from the drop-down menus. Click Export to generate the file, then Download to save the CSV to your device. This feature implements the following PI items. D295, Export Groups. Export group enrollments and or statistics to a CSV spreadsheet. D9175, Add times and dates of students enrolled in groups created. D7413, Viewing group category or group enrollments quickly. D345, Show all group categories or more than one group category on the main groups page. D5236, Printing groups. D454, Group statistics, view the date and time students self-enrolled in a group. Thank you to those who brought forward these PI suggestions. In assignments, instructors can now retract feedback in bulk directly from the submissions page. This functionality enhances consistency across activities and removes the need to use multiple tools for feedback retraction. From the submissions page in the assignments tool, instructors can either select the retract feedback option to retract feedback from specific learners in bulk, or use the Retract All option to retract feedback for all learners. This feature implements the following PI items. D1361, allow method to bulk unpublish Dropbox feedback. D5593, retract assignment feedback in bulk. Thank you to those who put forward these PI suggestions. QuickEval now offers a seamless grading experience across assignments, discussions, and quizzes. Instructors can view and evaluate submissions from different activity types and courses in one place without returning to the QuickEval page. Use the forward and back arrows to navigate between submissions. This feature is controlled by the new Quiz Evaluation Experience configuration variable, which must be changed to ON. This feature implements the following PI items. D5475, add a next item button when grading from QuickEval. D8199, auto advance to next item in QuickEval. Thank you to those who put forward these PI suggestions. The My CPD Records tool now offers a more streamlined workflow for creating records from external sources or Brightspace awards, simplifying professional development tracking. Learners can add records directly using the new Add Record button on the My CPD Records main page. Notification emails now include an unsubscribe link, offering a more convenient way for users to manage email preferences. By selecting the link, users can disable all email notifications without logging into Brightspace. This feature is controlled by a new configuration variable d2l.tools.notifications.email.unsubscribe link, which is off by default. The unsubscribe link only appears when the variable is enabled. Finally, let's take a quick look at the other features for this month's release. Users can now view recurring events created in the calendar tool within the Pulse app under the Events tab. Previously, recurring events did not appear in Brightspace Pulse. Brightspace Pulse is a separately licensed app. For more information, contact your D2L client sales executive or account manager.
Session IDs in attempt logs now help instructors detect multiple sessions within a quiz attempt and support academic integrity. This feature is controlled by the d2l.tools.quizzes.show session ID configuration variable, which is off by default. We hope you enjoyed this month's release highlights. As before, you can get the full details of this month's changes in the May 2025 release notes on Brightspace Community. See you next month!